Frank Morley, yes. Vice President for Asia Pacific with Northrop Grumman. Thanks for joining us on yeah, Australia thanks, and Space Chris. TV. And welcome to Indo-Pacific and here at the WA uh, Defence West Stand. It right? is. Great to be here. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Uh, this is very much on the back of an announcement uh, with Northrop Grumman right. and new facilities in northwestern Australia. Right. Your role as uh, Vice President for APAC, maybe introduce yeah. us to your role. Uh, sure. Not your first time to Sydney either? No, not at all. In fact, my first time in Sydney was 1992, <laughs> nice. uh, which was wonderful. But uh, no, this is a great show, it's wonderful. We get lots of the companies, lots of the uh, state uh, organizations here that we're yep. talking to, a lot of our partner industry efforts, and of course the Australian government. So we're very excited to be here. Uh, my role, of course, is uh, to represent Northrop Grumman, the 100,000 employees, and all our business units across the Asia Pacific region. Australia obviously being a very key part of that. What's your footprint across Asia Pacific? Uh, we've had some insights into what you're doing here in Australia, right. but yeah, across the region and some of your key partners. Right, so we have uh, focused uh, countries in which we've established offices in, these kind of countries that do a lot of business with us, are working on the higher tech level, right? So Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Australia, are four of our main focus areas uh, here in the Asia Pacific. Of course, we also have a large defense business on guns, munitions, and things like that that expand our footprint much wider as well. The other aspect is space, uh, your space yes. infrastructure and space assets. Right. Uh, some of the services that that provides for partners? Yeah, so we're real excited about space and advancing and expanding our international footprint in space because Northrop Grumman space is one of our four major areas and business units. Uh, it's an, we're a leading space company in the United States and uh, and we really uh, we work everything across the board from the solid rocket motors, the launch vehicle, the satellite, the payload, the bus. And so cradle to grave on space yeah. with lots of opportunity. So. Uh, what we see is uh, we believe we're most competitive and have a competitive advantage in space domain awareness, yep. uh, which you saw here at this ceremony, uh, DARK being an example uh, from the ground of space domain awareness, but also lots of capability within on orbit as well. So that's one big area in which we uh, look to expand our international involvement with. The other big area where we have a competitive uh, advantage in the technology that we bring to the table is in missile defense, both in the missile defense warning and missile defense tracking. So those are two areas we focus uh, very uh, closely uh, with Australia and other companies. And then the final piece I'd tell you is on uh, satellite communications. Uh, lots of companies do that. We certainly are a leader in that as well. Uh, and that, of course, spans the spectrum of space opportunity. Look, it's uh, as you say, it's a, it's a big beast, I suppose, in yeah. terms of those different uh, business units. What's the call to action, I suppose, for, for clients and how easy they can engage right. with Northrop Grumman? Right, so what you're seeing in the region, we have a lot of space actors in the region, but they focus mostly on commercial space. And so Northrop Grumman's expertise, of course, is although we do do commercial space, we bring tremendous capability on the defense side of space. Yeah. So budgets are certainly rising. Countries are starting to look at that more carefully and closely and more seriously in region. And so a lot of discussions, both with the governments and their industry, uh, to one, kind of increase the defense space awareness as to what opportunities they should pursue, in what order, and in what priority. So that's a lot of the work we're doing yeah. now, as well as targeted efforts in those areas I mentioned. Well, as we said, uh, we're at the Defence West Stand, an announcement here with the Western Australian Government. Frank, great to have you back here in Sydney, and enjoy the rest of Indo-Pacific 2025. It's always wonderful being in Australia and Sydney, and of course, Western Australia. So thank, thank you, Chris. <laughs>